Hello, this is Tim Hellman. Uh, and I'm Harry. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Under the Skin. Under the Skin is a bizarre sci-fi indie flick starring Scarlett Johansson as an alien who seduces and then preys on single men in Scotland. It was directed by Jonathan Glazer, who also directed the brutal crime drama film Sexy Beast. It was written by Glazer and first-time film writer Walter Campbell and based on the 2000 novel of the same name by Mikkel Faber. Most of the dialogue in the movie was unscripted and filmed using non-actors who didn't know they were being filmed by hidden cameras. Sort of like the filmmaking techniques used in movies like Borat and Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, except for a sci-fi horror flick instead. What did you think? Awesome. Like, yeah. really, totally fantastic. I loved it. I would guess that a lot of people will not care for it. Yeah. It was really weird. It was super weird and very slow and long periods without dialogue. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested in reading the book because it sounds like the book is quite a bit of a different story. Yeah, it's about the 1% aliens on another planet that eat human because we're a delicacy, so that's why. She's collecting humans for rich people on her planet, and she enjoys Earth because on their planet the poor 99% has to live underground, just the 1% gets to live on the surface. Kind of like this planet, except for... No one lives <laughs> underground? <laughs> except, <laughs> except for the 1% live in, you know, mansions and stuff, and, right. and the 99% right. have to live. It's actually, it's too bad. I'd like to see a movie made of that book because that's great social commentary. Oh, yeah. Although I'm glad that this movie is just the way it is because it's... I love that it was non-actors because their reactions sometimes were interesting. Well, it's fantastically like, natural. None of them knew what to do with her like being aggressive and coming on to them. Like, they didn't know how to take it, a lot of them. Well, yeah, they come, <laughs> off, they come off tremendously earnestly. There's a couple guys that get all the way naked, and I'm assuming they were actors, but maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, well, I thought it was a really great story. There is some penises in it. Yeah. Which is disturbing for me, but... Why is that disturbing for you? Like you look at... <laughs> I don't like the look at Chicks, them. pussies, and tits and I stuff. I like to look at dicks, usually. Do you let yourself look at your own dick? I just... I mean, I touch it, but I don't look at it, usually. Okay, well, fair enough. Everyone has their own... I don't like mm. hangnails. I like ladies. I'm not... I don't roll dudes, but I don't mind seeing a dick on the screen. Mm. You know? It doesn't bother me. It's Part of the story, it, and it was actually a, kind of a key part of the story, not their dicks in general, but the guys getting naked yeah, yeah, yeah. and kind of coming down before they get schnarfed mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, that's kind of how it in this liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, it was a beautifully filmed movie. I mean, it's just it beautifully shot, and the soundtrack was really great. Oh, yeah. And, uh... The soundtrack and, helped put it in that moody atmosphere. That oh, hellaciously moody. You do get to see Scarlett Johansson naked, too. Yeah, and that's great, too, because yeah. she's... That's not disturbing. Yeah, she's totally hot. And Scarlett Johansson is super pretty, and she's not, you know, your normal weird breast bone, <laughs> skinny, funky-looking Hollywood star. So she's, hmm. you know, she's a very natural beauty, which is rad, so that's cool. Balances out the I'd dicks. I'd like to see Jennifer Lawrence naked. That would be cool. I don't know who Jennifer Lawrence is, but she's, she's probably... the girl from Silver Linings Playbook and Hunger Games. Oh, yeah, I saw the first like Hunger the Games movie. She's like the most popular actress there is. Yeah. Right yeah, she, yeah, she looked like she's... Yeah, she's another one who looked... I did see the first Hunger Games, and she didn't seem like she was a total scrawny... Not, no, she's got some extra meat on her. That's why I like her, too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, well, by all um, means, look at her naked. <laughs> Ask her to send you pictures um, or something. But you're not very in tune with pop culture. I know who some people are. Or they're probably Is that why you don't way. like cats so much? Because they're popular? I like cats. The most popular I love cats. Animals. I do like cats. I do. I do like cats. What about movie people? Yeah, I like you. They're better. Mostly. Than, they're better, superior. Way. You know what? You're right. To music people and then sports people are even lower. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Mo movie, movie, heavy movie watching people that have cats, I think, but are people the best, are really probably the best and most advanced and humans like, yeah. ever. And, but people that are really into sports are usually not very smart, that's why they like sports. Cause yeah, sports are, uh, like sports exist, for sure. Things that aren't too stimulating for the brain. <laughs> that, yeah, I think so, I think, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, except for the I mean, NASCAR I mean, people, they I think they're super intelligent. Most sports people would not like this movie, I'm just kidding, it would be too challenging for them, I think. I think that is fair to say, it would be a long walk for a sports fan to enjoy uh, um, so, Under the Skin. So, what rating? 
Um, I will give it a four. I think That's it was. What I gave it. Yeah, I think it's beautiful and. Um, it is slow. Yeah, but it's long. Like you said, long sections with no dialogue, and it's hard to figure out what's going on a lot of times. But. Yeah, but it's it the. I think that you can't look too closely at that story. Mm -hmm. You have to view it kind of as a whole. You know, the 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 sum is greater than its parts. Mm -hmm. You know, so and and I think the the overall story I think is relatively simple and it's pretty rad. You know, it would have probably been better though with Jennifer Lawrence as the seductress. Yeah, I totally disagree. Because she's more seducing. She's For more, you, she's more sexual. Bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, what do you, do you feel dirty? You want a French? Mm -hmm. <laughs>